It's time for Nixon and Agnew Reviews! Yay! Brought to you by Charlington Chews. Inverted. Bro, this one you stick up your ass. Godspeed, patriots. Oh, it's 37th president of the United States, Dicky Nixon here, alongside the headless body of Agnew. You say hello, Agnew. The czar. You know, maybe it's the effects of those funky mushrooms we found in the garden had for breakfast that are finally kicking in. But I'm in the mood for some time-traveling shenanigans, baby. And no, I don't mean just binge-watching movies that are so bad you end up doing a session of coke and blow just to erase them from your memory and pretend like they never even happened. I mean, I want to watch a batshit insane mindfuck of a fuck if I know kind of movie, know what I mean? Ah, Anything like that on our to-watch list for today, Agnew? Arr! Tenet, eh? Is that one of them palindromes where things read the same forward and backward? Like one of them special kids you always see in your English class, with a second teacher beside them. Arr! So, this is a Christopher Nolan movie, eh? Huh. What instrument did he play in the Nolan sisters again? Arr! Okay, Agnew. Let's just get on with it. Arr! Oh my god! They've de-aged Denzel Washington. Yar? Oh, that's John David Washington, his little boy? Dang. Could they not afford the real deal and instead had to hire this thrift store son to play the lead? Oh, man. Don't tell me they've skimped out on Gary Busey and the villain's got to be played by frickin' Jake. Oh, my God, the people. They've all been knocked out by the noxious gas. It's just like that time you ate a baby bell at that children's hospital we were visiting and put them all back into comas. I told you you were lactose intolerant, dammit. Thank God they were lying down already. We live in a twilight world. Living in a twilight world, eh? Is this some sort of secret disclosure message about the real existence of vampires? Are <laughs> vampires? Oh, we should be good, Agnew. We don't invite anyone into the house anyway. You know, it's never a good sign to wake up tied to a chair in the middle of a train yard with an ugly Russian staring at you beside a ticking clock. And I should know, I used to sit in on all of Gorbachev's sex games. Uh, this is a sex game, right? Isn't that the hand signal the Illuminati? Or was that the Masons? I can't keep up with all these secret societies running the world, Agnew. Agnew? Which one were we part of again? Arr! Huh. I've never heard of the Mile High Club, but sounds cool. What the heck, Agnew? They're making people live in giant windmills in the middle of the oceans now? Is the housing crisis really so bad that we have to ship citizens out to offshore wind farms just to make the homeless stats look like they're going down? No. Well, still, it's a good idea. Write that down. Oh my god, Agnew. Reversible bullets. Why didn't we think of that? Oh, we did, kinda. We just turned them around in the chamber and a bunch of our guys died when the guns exploded? Huh. Then this movie's super unrealistic. But still, this stuff is super cool. Agnew, make time go the other way, dammit. Did I? What do you mean you don't have the power? That's like your special ability. Whenever I'm with you, time seems to slow down and go by very, very slowly. Like, painfully slow. It's inverted. Inversion, eh? Is that what that Yuri guy was always trying to warn us about when he kept showing up at the White House in the middle of the night, screaming about communists plotting to take over America? You have to have dropped it. Wait, wait, wait. So let me get this straight. 
So to pick up an inverted object, you have to imagine yourself dropping it first. Does that mean if you somehow invert yourself, you would fly when you think about walking? Or ejaculate when you think about Margaret Thatcher? Yar! Justin Bieber? No inverse, Agnew. Don't try to understand it. Feel it. Ah, the motto of the modern left. Edward Cullen, eh? We really do live in a twilight world. Reverse bungee jumpers. Or are they called slingshot soldiers? I can feel a new range of action figures coming out right now, Agnew. God bless capitalism. Oh my god. It was the woman that was in charge all along. Oh, I had no idea women could be so devious. Oh, that reminds me, Agnew. Hit up Hillary Clinton for our biannual swingers party. Arr. Sir Michael Caine. Oh, he's one of my all-time favorites. Remember the classic line, Agnew? You are only contracted to remove the doors of the car in a practicable fashion. Or something like that. Oh, she's one hot broad, Agnew. Not only that, but her name's so fun to say. Elizabeth Debicki. Debicki, Debicki. Come sit on Tricky Dick Sticky. R. Oh. R. Oh, what's that, boy? You've looked her up on the Goagle? Australian? It's over, Debicki. I ordered my hot sauce an hour ago. Now pay attention, Agnew. That's what happens when you don't bring a black man his hot sauce on time. R. Freeports, eh? My God, that reminds me. I've had Hubert Humphrey's son stuffed in an icebox and stashed away one of them things for over 50 years. You think he's okay? Gar! What? You thought we won the 68 election, honestly, despite only carrying 43% of the popular vote? You gotta have insurance when you're running for president, Agnew. Hillary will tell you that for free. Oh my god, they're just giving away free gold bars for all the airport plebs to just come and round up. In one fell swoop, the working class Joes just became part of our elite. What are we going to do, Agnew? The scum class are going to bring us all down to their level. And before you know it, we won't be dining on finest chicken tendies anymore. But instead, we'll be forced onto a diet of McDonald's chicken McNuggets, which according to ingredients only contain 45% chicken which is strangely close to our election numbers. It's an outrage! Oh my god, they just crashed a 747 into an aircraft hangar to distract everyone from seeing them slip inside. Maybe I should do the same to the local 7-Eleven opposite Madison Square Gardens when I next try to sneak into the upcoming Bieber concert. Agnew, source me a 747. Or even a Cessna would do, damn it. Arr! Baby, you'll do it as long as you love me. You know, I've never seen two spasticated fellows fight, but I imagine it looks just like this. <gasps> he has spider DNA! Evil Russian Kenneth Bradder, eh? The worst kind of Russian. Speed racing catamaran thingies, eh? Oh, this is getting predictable. Arr? You see, it's like Chekhov's gun, Agnew. If you show someone on a boat, they have to have some poor fucker go overboard by the end of the scene. Told ya. Scratch one for Chekhov's catamaran. Oh my god, he's getting the belt. Are they going to have a sexy bout of this auto-asphyxiation thing I keep hearing about? Oh my god, no, he's just going to beat her with it. This woman has the longest toe bones I've ever fucking seen. If I can't have you, no one else can. Ah, just like the Democrats said to America throughout the first four years of that orange guy's term. A highway heist with fire trucks, eh? 
When's Trevor Phillips going to crash the party, eh, Agni? R G T A. Hang on. This must be the inverted version of evil Russian Ken Bran. Hey, what's the oxygen mask even connected to? I don't see a tank. And look, he's counting down on his fingers. Even the villain thinks this movie has a sound issue. Wow. If only his Oldsmobile had been inverted, maybe poor old Teddy Kennedy could have saved his gal from getting smooshed on Chappaquiddick Island. Ah! Oh, sorry. Too soon? Now I understand why God gave some people freakishly long toe bones. A mutation to save us from when we are kidnapped by evil Russian thespians and tied in the back of an Audi that's barreling uncontrollably towards a roadblock. God really looks out for us, eh, Agnew? Ah, yeah. Ah. 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 Oh my god, he's talking in tongues. An inverted bullet passing through your body would be devastating. I don't get it, Agnew. He says that inverted bullets are devastating to people moving forward through time. But as we and Hillary Clinton know, so are regular bullets, damn it. I'm pretty sure shooting someone in the face will have the same effect. Inverted or not, damn it. They are. It's bearded kick-ass. Dar? You know, the nondescript British actor who somehow keeps getting roles in big movies despite being the poster boy of instant forgettableness. Dar! Okay, stop the movie. I'm confused. Who's building these time travel turnstiles when the future people are still in the future? If they sent back instructions and evil Kenneth Branagh built it, then surely he already knows the secret formula for this inversion thingy. So why is he chasing after the algorithm piece? Or did the future bad guy simply send the turnstile contraption back in one piece somehow? I have so many questions, Agnew. But I'm sure Mr. Nolan will answer them sufficiently by the rolling of the end credits. Continue! Okay, so now he's gone through to the inverted world, where everything is upside down and biology is now meaningless. AKA, welcome to Clown World 2022. <laughs> Arr! I concur. There's so many possibilities. Like, do you reverse age in the inverted world and end up being a teenager? Oh, Agnew. Just imagine being a teeny bopper again. I can finally come out about my obsession with Justin Bieber and be accepted into the club of believers. Instead of just being called creepy and threatened with the cops if I don't leave Bieber's home premises within 10 minutes. Look, Agnew, this is a world where fire makes ice. So, if I torch a guy with a flamethrower, would that technically mean I invented a freeze ray? Oh my god. I could become a real-life Batman villain. Oh, yes, this is all fictional. Carry on. More sleep as fast as you. Okay, so she's healing because they are inverted. Does this mean the bullet is now just a normal bullet? Or is it still an inverted bullet that's been inverted again? So now the bullet is withdrawing from her body and healing the damage it caused. I'm so confused, damn it. Let's bring us to the grandfather paradox. Grandfather paradox, eh? Personally, I just suck him off. <laughs> oh God, we're back at the plane crash scene. Quick, Agnew, look out for gold bars. Look, Agnew, they weren't spastics after all. They were just fighting their inverted selves. Maybe dyslexics are just inverted individuals who are reading normally. I, oh, are. Oh, so when he just tried to shoot him back there, it was because he was trying to empty his clip so his future self couldn't use it against him. This plotting is genius. 
and certainly better than that time in The Dark Knight Rises when Nolan had all the cops in the city go into that one tunnel and get trapped for three months straight because of, uh, reasons. Okay, so now everyone's back to normal, but they've taken a huge loss, because somehow the evil Russian Thor director has managed to get the final piece of the algorithm off screen. I believe in narrative terms, this is called the black moment. Now on to Act 3, Arrow. Splitting the algorithm into nine sections and hiding them the best place you can think of. Huh. Pieces of her own creation split into a handful of parts and scattered in hidden places only she knows about. I think J.K. Rowling has the start of a lawsuit on her hands. His death activates the algorithm. He dies, the world ends. He's dying. He's intending to end his life. My god, Agnew. If his heart stops, it'll trigger the bomb. This is like a human version of speed. Except it's painfully slow and doesn't have Sandra Bullock sitting there looking pretty. So the plan is for Denzel Jr. and Kickass to lead the assault going forward in time. To get to the time bomb which will invert the world and destroy the past. Meanwhile, Arpats will do the same thing but going backwards in time, which means he will know exactly what happens already. God diggity damn. This is more convoluted than Jesse Smollett when he's trying to come up with a reason why two racist Trump supporters would recognize him from a primarily black TV show at 3am in the dead of night and try to lynch him while screaming, THIS IS MAGA COUNTRY, even though they were in Chicago and the two dudes racially attacking him were black and from Nigeria. Uh -huh. You know, it would really help if the director made it so the film could visually explain all this like I'm five years old. Uh -huh. Red forward, blue back. Just like the Matrix. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Nolan. So now she's desperately pretending to be her past self in order to recapture her glory days and stop her evil husband from killing himself and destroying the world. Has Debicki based her character on Madonna? You don't have anything big enough to blow this. Trapped by a gate. The world's going to die in a time explosion because they can't get through a gate? Where's your reverse super bungee tech now, dammit? Look, Agnew, a blue corpse on the floor. Arr! You're right, Agnew. He does still deliver a less stiff performance than John David Washington. Arr! So wait, this is all happening because the future messed up their world and now their climate is almost uninhabitable. So their desperate cultish plan is to invert the world so that the damage of their future begins to reverse, which in turn will destroy the past, but they don't care, even if the Grandfather Paradox could wipe them out anyway. Man, this is complicated stuff. Did they ever listen to some Avril Lavigne, goddammit? I mean, how does this make any sense? Don't they realize the moment they invert their world, they will suffocate immediately? Is this why this tenant organization is trying to stop them? Because the future bad guys are madmen who don't understand the scientific implications of what they're proposing? Sounds kind of like Greta Thunberg and all the rest of her eco-loons. Arr! Whatever. Let's get this over with. My brain is more fried than a cheap calamari. Why is this guy even trying to set this off? Ken Brand's dying anyway, but doesn't he know when it goes off all the oxygen will be inverted and they will all die immediately? Why are these mercenaries all okay with committing suicide? Oh, whatever. Don't think about it too much, I guess. The classic Pelosi stats on the Californian homelessness crisis. Oh my god. That corpse just blocked the bullet and ran away. This movie makes me say sentences that I never thought possible. Did, uh, did she just kill the main bad guy with suntan lotion? This is why you put the lotion in the basket, dammit! They're saved! Woohoo! And now they have to kill each other. Wait, where was this guy the whole time? Arr! Wait, he was the corpse? Which means he's dead and their timelines are going in reverse. Meaning Denzel Jr. is really meeting Arpats at the end of his life. But for the protagonist, it's just the beginning. Man, 
Now I think even Stephen Moffat has a lawsuit on his hands. They've both been working for me. Oh my god, he just shot her to save the bicky. So now he takes over this tenant thing. Or was he the head honcho the whole time? Dar! I know, I'm just as baffled as you, Agnew. That's two and a half hours we'll never get back. Or maybe we will if we watch it in reverse. Maybe the movie only makes sense if you watch it backwards. Oh my god, this male Nolan sister is ingenious. Quick, Agnew. Press the rewind button. Ahar! Two hours later. That made even less sense backward. Especially the part where the Bicky dives onto the boat. And what the heck was with everyone talking about satanic devil shit when the dialogue played in reverse? I don't know, Agnew. Was this movie bad because it failed to convey its own internal rules sufficiently? Or was it bad because the dialogue was so low and no one could understand a fucking thing that was going on? Arr. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is because we're just stupid. I give it 6.2 pieces of algorithm out of 10. On account of watching the guy from Wallander try to be a scary Russian misogynist, even when he's made to do silly walks. And talk like he's had a mini stroke. The dar. Six point one, you say? The sound was even worse for you because you have no head and everything's muffled at the best of times. I see. Well, I think it's disgusting. The filmmakers didn't make provisions for that. This Nolan guy seems to be a terrible disabledist, and we've got to start a campaign to cancel the dude. So tell me, who's the best at canceling people, Agnew? Ah. Planned Parenthood, eh? Never heard of him. Alexa, baby. Play Baby by Justin Bieber. <laughs>